So everything that was in the closed beta, I believe is gonna be in the open beta and some patch notes. And here's the additional stuff that's gonna be in the open beta coming up on the February 18th. That's Thursday on the Xbox One on February 19th through the 21st on all the other consoles. So here's the update history for the beta. This comes via Cod Navar on, and he took the pictures off his PS4 because PS4 tells you what's in the patch. So here we go. We got a new available uh, mission on Subway Morgue. You encounter the new faction, the Cleaners. You explore a mass grave while trying to restore power to the city and rescue the missing engineer, Paul Rhodes. This unlocks the additional wing in the base of operations, the tech wing. And you will have the new skill, the deployable turret, so that'll be available in the open beta. You get numerous dark zone updates and improvements. New high-end weapon availables are in the, available in the dark zone. So I assume that's the safe house room. I've been in that. So if you want to see where the safe house is and go right there as soon as you get in the dark zone, go there and see what the new guns are. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, refresh rate in the dark zone. Chests have been greatly reduced. Well, that's sad. Non-player enemies in the dark zone have significantly been increased. Non-player enemies in the dark zone have been buffed slightly. So they're going to be buffed. They were, wow, okay. But yeah, the community has been requesting some of these uh, updates, so everybody's happy that they listen. The manhunt timer now pauses instead of refreshing in combat at level 5 rogue. This is huge addition. The rewarding for surviving as rogue agent has been increased to 1.5, the kill bounty swag. The additional health bar for agents in the dark zone now only turns red when they are actively becoming rogue. A new warning icon has been added to indicate an agent who has shot another player but has not done enough damage to become rogue. Wow. Dark zone experience leveling curve has been adjusted slightly. Thank you. The disable the option to transfer dark zone brackets as rogue. This prevents players from using bracket transfers as a means to escape from after becoming rogue. That's basically when you leave the map in the dark zone, you could just go back to the safe house and uh, run out the timer. They changed that and removed the some ropes that allowed players to reach areas that would give them an unfair advantage. I know exactly where that is. Uh, that's huge. Also, in other changes, you get the new Ubisoft Club action available for participating in the open beta, unlocking an exclusive in game reward, new and improved uh, video and audio. Video, or video tutorial new to video tutorial is now available from the character select screen fix two bugs that allow players to become invisible to other players thank you fix an exploit with the ballistic shield that would allow players to become invincible I haven't seen that one but that must suck cheat detection and preventive measure additions have been added and in the update so that's huge we have fixed mismatch of stats that occurred occasionally between vendor inventory and player inventory when the item is purchased fix the bug which sometimes cause player other players name and health bar to not be visible in the darkness zone that was another issue that i had adjusted player movement speed while running with a grenade in hand uh fixed an issue some weapon mods that resulted in incorrect stat values when equipped fix some weapons that didn't appear in in as contaminated when the when obtained in the dark zone i think i may have seen that i'm not sure Fixed a bug with the reward chest claims vendor that caused stacks of consumables to be decreased under specific circumstances. Fix a bug with stats display not updating when browsing vendor inventories. Fix a bug that caused continuous vibrations under very specific conditions. That's you actually had your vibrator on and not your controller. You fixed a very rare bug that prevented players from being able to fire or switch their weapons. Added mission dialogue lines in missing persons Heather lay side mission. Several improvement fixes to the environment to prevent falling through world issues in specific places. We've seen all the YouTube vids on that. Multiple stability fixes, 23 unique crashes fixed. That's good. Server optimizations and improvements. Players will receive less connection errors now. Multiple location fixes and improvements. Added additional policy and bug, bug fixes to numerous, as mentioned. Yeah, too numerous to mention, they said. Okay, so, wow, that was a lot to say. <laughs> okay, so... The positive is they listened to a lot of the problems that were in the closed beta, and they improved them. They're adding more to it, more to do, even just more and more and more. This is going to be fucking amazing. So, if you made it all the way to this video, do you don't even have to fucking subscribe. Just remember, Gangster 7, and feel free to stop in and see if you like what you see on my channel, because I'm going to be covering this. I am excited as fuck. This is awesome. There is so many shit they changed. Let's go back over it one more time. So, they paused it so that when you're in Rogue 5, 
it pauses instead of refreshing. Hopefully that's for the other ones or they're not as severe or whatever. The reward for surviving as a rogue, a rogue agent has been increased to 1.5 times the kill bounty. You have the health bar for agents that, like, everything on this fucking list is shit people wanted changed and they changed it. And by the way, this just goes to show, not only did they close beta have shit in it that they didn't like, they implemented it, what, two weeks later? So props to the dudes at Massive who have been working on this. Props to you guys. Continue, fuck, continuously, fuck Ubisoft for the way the season pass is going to be handled. But props to this game. I'm really liking it. I'm really excited. A lot of this is fucking amazing. They're fixing pretty much all these major bullshit. So let's get just a tip to everybody out there when open beta comes. Play it. If you see anything wrong that's a big issue, address it. Make Leave it on the subreddit. Leave it on the official Ubisoft. You name it leave it here i'll put it in a vid if i got to let's just make this uh, game good and uh, welcome to the uh the division community and where we beat up uh, hobo dudes but yeah this has been gangster and seven thank you for watching this is the update slash all that other shit peace out